The ancient schematic said that one sun sign is one twelfth of the consciousness of reality. To be only your sun sign, you're pretty limited. One twelfth of the conscious of reality. To be whole, whole, we have to become each sun sign and act out each character as it dominates that time and expression. Doing the day and night. That's a whole nother level we're talking about now. So as we address astrology today, when we say a sign, what we're really talking about is that character in you. The Scorpio character in you. The Leo character in you. Every character is a part of your being. Any sign that we abhor and don't like is a part of ourselves that we don't like. Ooh. <laughs> However, as I put in my original expression and intention of the workshop, beloved. It's not, so to speak, an astrology workshop. It's a workshop about astrology, meditation, and the healing arts, and what relationship they have to each other. And <clears throat> has everybody feeling okay? Yeah. Good. Everybody's comfortable? Oh, good, good, good. So, yeah, this is going to be a wonderful journey. And it's 222. Okay. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I would like us all to just take a few deep breaths together and get a deeper recovery. Excellent. I have a few handouts here. And maybe you can share. You, huh? This is like a packet. Oh, oh packet. yeah. And it doesn't have to be in any order. I just did this a, just a few an hour ago, and I hope I spelled all the words right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let's let's look at meditation. We said meditation. And any volunteer to read this page to it? Okay. The level of awareness where one observes what needs to be transformed can be transformed. Okay, right there. Meditation, a level of awareness. It's like there are different levels of awareness, right? And the one where you're at and you begin to see the culprit, the problem, you begin to see what's causing the unhappiness. What's causing the suffering? What's causing the pain? What's causing the vexation? So you observe it and you know now this got to be transformed, transmuted, or transcended. Because I keep creating my own unhappiness by this revolving experience. You can be lost in the experience where you're not even aware of why I'm not feeling good or feeling pain or why there's sickness in my body. You could just be continually adding to the problem, the vexation, the and not even know. But when you get to that boom, lights go and you get the awareness, that's a state of consciousness. Then the next thing you can go, you can transcend. Okay, please read Father. Heart chakra. Um, gratitude, appreciation, and open the hugging the source, source of all dreams. So the heart chakra here, when one 
is meditating and synchronized with that heart chakra, that's what happens. And that's a, uh, we have different chakras. <coughs> we have a state of consciousness where all the chakras are connected. There's no, they're operating together and one is aware. But this heart chakra here, gratitude and appreciation is love. Okay, mothers teach us that. You cannot have true gratitude, be grateful and be appreciative if you're not in your heart of love. It's like, so anytime you need to change your mood, go, it's, you, you have to go back to a memory of something that happened that, that you're grateful for, that you're appreciative of, boom, you begin to open up that space of love and dissolve the vexation. Now, open love hugging source. I just kind of word things. So when you open and you're loving and you're in your heart chakra, that's the doorway. Boom, you enter into the source, the creator, the source of all things. Now you are hugging the source. And I say hugging because <clears throat> when you, you can't truly genuinely hug without love. So, so it's a hugging the source. It's filling the presence, the ever presence of the creator, right? And it doesn't matter, you know, what's your religion or whatever. What matters is the direct contact. It's not about a concept. It's about a direct experience. That's what the elders are trying to teach us over the, it, the elders trying to say, okay, the mystic path is a path of direct experience with the creator. All religions have mystics. The mystics, they're not satisfied with the superficial waters. They want to dive in deep and they want to go so deep that the drop of their being melts with the whole and they begin to learn how to say the same thing in many different ways and how to hear the same thing said in many different ways. So they transcended a cultural religion, a cultural spiritual path, and they begin to transcend time and space in the pace of the human race. <laughs> the source of all things. Okay, root shot. Root shot, grounding, taking control, saying that will power. Conscious light is surfing your breath. Okay, so the root chakra and the chakras that are connected. So the stomach, the navel, the hara, the Japanese call the hara, the navel. That's the point they meditate, the hara. But down here is when you connect with the earth and you ground. Some people are like very, very busy dabbling into some fantasy land way up here and ungrounded. So it's a it's a, like a movie running that's not really connected with reality, but more of a projection. So we want to make sure we're grounded. And as we ground ourselves, everyone around us gets grounded by direct contact. They give us the willpower. That's where it comes from. In this day and time, you know, if we can check our family members out, so many people, you know, need our help as we are progressing and awakening and you try to talk to them and the next thing you know, you're the enemy and they're blaming you and they're going back in your past and blaming you. And so you begin to see that if you want to help someone, flip the lip and exemplify what they need to learn. See, just be the being of that, right? And it takes control for that. You know, if I could pass out gifts that everybody need, it would be, I would wrap it up really nice in a box. It would be willpower. <laughs> the willpower to do what you know is right. To do what you know needs to be done. Saying no is an important thing. And this root chakra helps you to ground at the earth to be steadfast and to have the willpower. And, you know, in meditation, it's a process of saying no and negating over and over again. Saying no to what? Boom. Eyes get distracted by moving, right? <coughs> Ears get distracted by sound. <coughs> Mind gets distracted with future desire, past memories. And you say no. You say no. You your willpower pull your attention back to the place of detachment. <laughs> Lastly, linking in. 
Lincoln and oh, I forgot this this one, this powerful one here. New saying that came to me: surfing your breath, conscious light surfing your breath. So, <clears throat> one begins to see more and more in yoga. The foundation is the breath. Foundation of yoga is meditation. Foundation of meditation is your breath. So, you focus on your breathing. Everything is about breathing. When a crisis happens, it snatches your breath out. And you begin, and then the mind begins to go like this because the mind follows the breath. If in a crisis you grab your breath, take that long, deep breath, boom, the mind will spill and you'll get your higher insight, intuition of how to react. So, surfing your breathing is like a, a surfing a wave. You're riding on it, but you got to be light. If you're heavy, you can't ride on the breath. The breath is light. So, you got to be light, detached. So that light consciousness of who you are, your true identity, is able to search the breath. Some Buddhists say that it's a slight like swinging of the pendulum. Inhale, exhale, and enlightenment is in between breaths. Anybody in here ever get to a point doing a meditation where you realize you look at yourself, say, I'm not breathing at all? That's it. I mean, contrary to Scientists, we can go a long time without breathing. Yogini's been doing it for eons, but it's a level of consciousness and trust. Okay, lastly, linking in. Linking in, synchronizing, merging, unifying as sacred receptivity. Ooh, ooh. Link in, tap in, tune in to your true identity. You become receptivity, and it's a sacred space because it's beyond the person, it's beyond the physical. And why am I putting so much importance on this? Because <clears throat> the level we operate on is a level of success that we are having. And so, if our identity is infinity, then we want to operate in our true identity. Okay, so. This the body is my earth rover. I'm roving around on earth in this vehicle. When I'm riding my car, I don't stop the car and say, okay, it's all about my car. That's my true identity. No, I get out of the car and go on because the car is my vehicle. So I am not my body, right? This computer, like biocomputer, mind, calculating, dividing, measuring, weighing is my utility. It's not who I'm not my mind. You find out when you want to go to sleep and your mind won't let you go to sleep. Just go on, turn and turn until you go, man, I want to sleep. My mind won't stop. Well, yeah, your computer wants to calculate and it thinks it's really you. You got to put it in this place. You know, your mind is not who we are. So we learn this. So when we negate, as Osha said, the spiritual path is a path of negating. The true perfect diamond soul, God, this you can never be negated. It's always there. We got covered over by like some gook, some mud of concepts, of belief systems, of fear, of doubts, of desires on a personal level that's covered over the diamond of our eternal being. We don't have to get something. We're already that. We have to negate the false. Watch y'all. Detox all of the concepts, all of the erroneous. So <clears throat> we enter into that synchronicity and receptivity. That's where we want to be. And then, so back to my little story, you do this astrology readings, and then your accuracy, your instrument comes from being depersonalized into your energy body. So you got an energy body, you got an energy body. Energy, energy is everything. So the meditation helps us tune in with the energy. Oh, this is so good. So <clears throat> now we're going to meditate. But listen, um, any questions at this point? So I have a question. Yes, ma'am. 
when you when we were talking about the root chakra, you said um, you mentioned conscious light certain. Yes. You said you have to be light in order to be able to do that. Yes. So, but my I guess good question. My question is, it's root chakra based, which is grounded. Right. But you have to be light in order to. Good to question. She brings up right. <laughs> okay. It, who's being grounded? The Earth Rover. The Earth Rover got his own kind of like thing it wants to be doing. The Earth Rover has to be still. The body has to go to sleep. Two Gs completely aware and the link in lock in with the energy body. Then once you lock in, then there could be some movement with the body and you can stay locked in. You have meditation of movement or you know, channel or whatever. But yes. The body is the main one of the main interrupters of the connection because it has all these senses, you know, a feeling of touch, of smell, of taste, and sensation, sensuality. So, how to put my teacher Saint Dashan Singh uh, uh, in the lineage of living masters? He taught that. We must learn how to rise beyond body kindness at will. That death will be an easy process. For many people, death is like ripping flesh from bone because of it being so attached to thinking and identifying with being a body. <laughs> and so one learns to draw the sense recurrent at will and become to transcend. But one has to overcome the fear. Okay. So we're going to meditate, but also today we're going to do some other thing. I want to ask, is there anybody here <coughs> that is a dancer? Dance. <laughs> Anybody's a dancer? One, two. Okay, two. All right. Is there anybody here that <coughs> is a singer? Singer. Singers. Okay. <laughs> Singers, right? Good, good. Um, and is there anybody here that would strike a yoga pose for us today? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna go because we're gonna connect with the healing arts. So Beloved, in this meditation, <clears throat> we're going to connect with some energies, and it's going to be really good. Uh, and we're not going to talk too much. We're going to go over this list of astrology signs and sort of the characteristics. But we're not going to talk too much about it. We want to have a direct experience of it. Okay, so we're, we're going to go through that really quick because you know time moves on quick. Um, and so the meditation synchronizes us into the energy, gets us out of only thinking linear. It gets us out of being dominated by the senses, by the physical body, and tunes us to a more finer state of conscious, pure awareness and energy. Once we get into that conscious state of spiritual awareness and energy, and we can hold a vibe there, <clears throat> the next level is to learn how to manipulate the energy. See, how to consciously move in it. Now, we're going to be getting into the healing arts. When you're consciously moving energy, when you're willing and formulating and healing and unsealing. So, <clears throat> this is fun to me. <laughs> this is fun to me. All right. So, in this meditation, I'll begin to kind of guide you through, say some words, and then I'll stop saying words and we'll meditate. Oh, we won't go that long, maybe 10, 12 or something. So, I just want you to get in your meditation position, get comfortable. <laughs> Oh, my beautiful sister that's listening via the internet. Thank you for your being, you light, bright, shining star. Thanks for being here.
So I want everyone to begin to take deep breath. And I want you to try as comfortable. Anytime you start feeling uncomfortable, pull back. You're doing too much. <clears throat> I want you to, as comfortably as possible, slow down. Slow down your breathing, both inhale and exhale. Elongate it as long as you can exhale comfortably. Hold it there at the end of the exhale as long as you can hold it comfortably. Inhale, elongate it as slow as you can. Get to the end of it, hold it as long as you can comfortably. Some people have a longer span, some people that's not the point. As long as you can comfortably. All right, let's begin to breathe. <laughs> Each breath, stay open. Don't strain. Don't contract your muscles. Open up. Open up every cell. Let us return to her plain consciousness. I cut that short because everybody got there. We have taken out our goal. We're synchronized. If we want to stay synchronized, see. We want to stay in our energy cells for this whole process to benefit highly most from this process. We want to stay as energy, as energy. And okay, we're in our heart chakra. Open our heart even more 
And this is going to cause, believe me, when we start talking about astrology, if you're coming from your heart, <clears throat> you're going to get a lot more out of it than coming from your mind. <clears throat> and uh, listen, listen, listen to my heart sing. I will never forget you. I will never forsake you. That's how simple the words are. And what are we really saying? We're talking to the divine within us. It's gratitude. It's devotion. Listen, listen, listen to my heart sing. I will never forget you. I never forsake you. I'm on this spiritual path. You awakened me. You brought me through a lot of stuff to get to this point right here. I know that you are the main ingredients to happiness, to joy, to peace, to love, to success in my life. And I ain't let nobody, nobody interrupt or stop. Okay, so this is the little chant. Feel it in your heart as we chant this little chant here. And allow yourself to open up a little more because <clears throat> why? Healing is going to happen during this event. And <clears throat> healing is going to happen during this event. Inspiration is going to happen during this event. Epiphanies, visions, and a new level of consciousness. Take this off for a minute. In, uh, in your life. Okay. Let me see the hands of the singers. Okay. And even the ones that said, they did not say it. <laughs> listen, listen, listen to my heart sing. Listen, listen, listen to my heart sing. I will never forget you. I will never forsake you. I will never forget you. I will never forsake you. Come on, sing it. Listen, 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 to my heart sing. Listen, 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 to my heart sing. I will never forget you. I will never forsake you. I will never forget you. I will never forsake you. Listen, 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 listen to my heart sing. Listen, listen, I yourself to my heart sing. I will never forget you. I will never forsake you. I will never forget you. I will never forsake you. How do you feel? 
I'm still light and happy. Light and happy. Okay, so we're where we want to be. <clears throat> Good. 